welcome back. Uh, today we conclude our um, programming challenges in chapter five, and uh, we are still working on the book starting out with Java chapter five. And this this problem is called slot machine simulator. And what they want us to do is to create a class. Uh, called slot uh, machine simulator and already did that then the objective of this uh, game or this uh, program is to ask the user to enter amount of money he or she wants to bet then we have to generate a random a word from a series of uh, words from an array of words we have to uh, generate um, a word, um, actually three words from uh, that array randomly. And if two of them match, uh, if the two words in the three uh, randomly uh, selected words match, we would, um, we would double whatever amount the user entered. If the three of the words match, we will triple the amount of money that the user entered. If the user, uh, if the the words do not match, if none of them match, uh, the user uh, will earn zero dollars. And lastly, we have to ask the user if he or she wants to um, to play again. To play uh, the game again so I, I created a static uh, array consisting of of these words cherries um, oranges plums uh, balls uh, melons and bars those are the words that in in the array which will be which the three words will be drawn from. Then I created an, another static uh, member. This one would be the scanner to take the user's input. Then I created an amount variable to hold the user, whatever user enters, uh, this uh, variable will hold it. Then I created a main method and then I called um, this method get word. This would uh, basically run the game. And in this method is a private method, which is also is static. Whenever you um, use the keyword static in a method uh, declaration, you don't need to create uh, an instance um, an instance of this class whenever you are calling uh, this method uh, in the main method you are you know you don't have to create an instance you, you don't need whenever you uh, use the the word static keyword so that's why I use static uh, then void um, this is the return type it doesn't return anything and then just the, the name of the um, of the method it doesn't take any arguments then I created a string which will hold the answer to the to the question uh, whether the user wants to uh, play the the game again then I, I created a do while loop uh, this while loop will run until the user's uh, answer to the question do you want to play again is is no or n for short as long as the user that does not enter n our game continues so after the do while loop we declare it I created a random object this is necessary because when, when you want to generate a random number you need um, you need this class then you ask uh, the user amount of money to enter to the slot machine, then whatever uh, the the number is, you store it in amount variable that we created uh, here. Uh, after that, 
we created uh, three uh, strings. Each of them is randomly generated. It would generate a random word from the word this array. So the first word would be randomly selected, the second one would be randomly selected, and the third word would be randomly selected. So these three words this would be randomly selected. Then uh, I, I called the scanner classes uh, next line because I want to I want to eliminate a extra um, a extra line that the scanner class would generate whenever whenever you try to um, when you, whenever you try to take an input uh, an int uh, integer input and a string input if you uh, using the scanner class if you try to uh, enter a number then try to enter um, a string it, it would crash it will it, it will generate a, a mismatch uh, exception so the way you eliminate that you would um, call the next line um, method in the scanner class and that would eliminate uh, the extra new line after that um, I I showed uh, the three randomly selected words I, I printed to the screen then here in the in the next the, uh, print line I called um, this method which is uh, calculating winnings which take is three uh, the three words that we randomly uh, randomly generated then we ask the user whether he or she wants to um, to play the uh, the the game again uh, and we start it in against a variable here as you can see so as long as the again variable is not equal to n the program continues after that uh, method concludes we go down and come to this method which is calculate winnings which is also another static um, method which returns a string this method as we said earlier it takes three three uh, string uh, variable arguments then I created here a string uh, a string output output I called it one and at the beginning it is empty and first I, I added a, a new line just to separate the the calculation uh, from the other um, from this from this method then here uh, in the boolean in the boolean we are trying to test if the first word is equal to second word if this uh, if the first word and second word are equal or or the uh, first word is equal to the third word to, to the third word to the word three so basically we are testing the first word against the second and the third uh, word and we are doing the same with the second word we are saying if the second word is equal to, to the first word or the second word is equal to the third word and we can we are doing the same with with word three here in the in the fourth boolean we say none and um, I say uh, w1 the first word if the first word is not equal to um, to the second word and if the first word is not equal uh, to three basically this statement uh, test is if either of the words match if neither of them match, if the if the all of the words do not match, then then it would um, it would return true, and that's why I call it none. Here um, would be the opposite of none. Here, this uh, fifth uh, boolean check, if 
if all of the match, if the first, second, and third word match, then this statement would return true. Then here, um, in the first if statement, we say if the fir first word uh, uh, compacts with true or second word or third word, if either of them, if either of the three words came back with true, we would start the one variable uh, to to winning two times the amount of the of what whatever the user entered, right? So this is testing if the if the if the if it if at least two words match um, in the generated uh, three words. The second if statement we are testing uh, if all the all the words are equal. If they are, we multiply the amount the user enters by three. And lastly, uh, we are testing if none of the words match. If that's the case, we say you win zero. And then lastly, we return the winning or won variable, which would uh, tell us whatever um, whatever the winning statement is. So let us let us test it. Okay, amount to enter to the slot machine. Let's say I want to enter 100. The first word is Blum, the second word is Blum, and the third word is Balls. So, like, like we said in our rules, if two of the words match, that means whatever users entered, which is 100, would be doubled, which is the case here, you won 200. Let's uh, try it again with 200. <laughs> no, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I meant uh, let, let's continue here. They say, do you want to to play that game? So any any key that is, that is not N uh, would continue the game. But now we we just say 200. Okay, um, as you can see, none of the words is match. The first, second, or third word do not match one another. That's why we won nothing. So I would say I am I am finished with the game, and I would press N. This should terminate uh, the loop, uh, which then terminates the whole game. So you can see the game is is finished. So. I think uh, that is that that would be it for this game. I would post it in my GitHub account for this program. Um, this chapter was really interesting and fun for me to to complete and to practice my Java skills and um, try it out. I will make a playlist uh, of uh, of it and um, I hope it will be helpful for you guys for those students trying to learn Java. Thank you and I will see you next time.